Talking with Dr. Bruce Holub today about omega-3s. Can you just talk about why omega-3 fatty acids are so important for us? Well, firstly, omega-3 fatty acids are extremely important for us because a recent large study from the U.S. showed that uh, and estimated that uh, an insufficient intake of the so-called long-chain omega-3 fatty acids from marine fish and fish oil sources was responsible for 85,000 premature deaths each year in America from various causes, a heart disease, a cancer, all deaths collectively. Talk about some of those causes a little bit if you can, and I think we associate omega-3s with heart health, but, but it goes beyond that too, doesn't it? Yes, uh, the omega-3s from marine sources, we're talking the acronyms being DHA and EPA are the two types found therein. Uh, EPA is needed primarily for the upper body experience above the neck, if you will. Uh, it's in high concentrations in the brain and also in the eye where it support, supports optimal cognitive functioning, learning built in the brain, and also optimal visual acuity uh, in the eye. Now, below the neck, uh, we have the heart, and there the EPA and DHA found in marine oils uh, has been found to have a very marked effect in reducing sudden cardiac death and cardiac-related mortality, as well as alleviating a number of risk factors for heart disease. Uh, in addition, uh, there are studies showing that supplementation, for example, in postmenopausal women uh, for over a number of years with omega-3, such as fish oil supplements, uh, could reduce the risk of them developing breast cancer uh, by about 32%. So these are just a few examples from the very dramatic effects of omega-3 fatty acids, and that's why we consider an omega-3 deficit, if you will, uh, in the American public to be extremely important and trying to correct that. And in talking with doctors and, and reading a lot of the literature, it sounds like we're finding out more and more about the benefits. Uh, it's that it's a relatively kind of new discovery when you when you talk about it on the, as a whole. Well, yes. I mean, we, we've had the cardiac benefit story for some time and the brain support and visual support. But uh, I pinch myself, quite frankly, as a researcher. And every week there's new material coming out. And, for example, very recently it's been shown uh, in a very large study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition uh, that an age-related condition uh, has been found, such as hearing retention with age, has been found to be protected to a significant extent with higher intakes of EPA and DHA, uh, which you can find from fish or supplements. Um, there's also studies showing recently, for example, that age-related uh, maculopathy of the eye uh, cataracts, and also dry eye disease, uh, which is very common in the elderly, has been found to be reduced in frequency, intensity, and onset by consuming more long-chain omega-3 fatty acids. So uh, I guess one of the problems, if you will, if it is a problem for omega-3, it seems to be good for too many things. It's almost like people say to me, well, this is too good to be good, but I'm an academic. I blame or give credit to the evidence-based published literature in first-rate medical and clinical nutrition journals for everything I say. And so I'm just reciting the literature to you.